Well, I kind of wished I was up here sooner, but the controls wouldn't obey me. Gordy must be up here somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's try to center room. And I was right. Oh, two girls kissing. Oh, I can control this. Um, Alright, let's get a couple more seconds of this before I continue with the plot. <laughs> Oh, snap! <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh! This is the best part! He's seriously watching cartoons. There's two girls <laughs> making out right there. Right there. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Obviously, he is not interested, apparently. <laughs> Scott is going to be angry. <laughs> Maybe we get to beat this guy's ass like we did Troy. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! He must be gay. I mean, he's not even paying attention to what two girls making out. Let's go with. Factual. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. Oh, right. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. After your father failed you out. Nothing to get excited about, right? This guy seems like an asshole. Let's go with aggressive. You don't think I'm going to fall for that shit, do you, Kramer? I know it's not the first time you tried to lure a kid into your car. I also know you were more than a suspect for the police. Now, if I were you... I think of something more credible. Otherwise, I'm gonna make sure you have some serious problems. Ooh, threatened. Threatening. Change in the music. Very well. I'm the origami killer. Oh, really? I'm supposed to believe that? I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. If that's true, then he's really fucked I up in the head. because I'm Borg, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. I really want to struggle this guy. A strangle this guy. Is that guy. good enough for you? Or do you want more? Yeah, I want you to throw yourself this off a bridge. Is over. Yeah. Get rid of this clown! So it's possible. Oh shit! <laughs> I get to fight the security guards! Sweet. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> Square. Triangle. You cannot hit me, you asshole. You suck. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Trying to knee me in the balls? <coughs> you asshole. <coughs> owned. Freaking owned. With a side of tartar sauce. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not First. Me. The first time I played this game, that threat actually worried me. It made me think, what's going to happen? Is this guy really the origami killer or is he just messing with our heads? I wouldn't be surprised. If anything, I still wish he would be, be go behind bars. <laughs> he just looks like a really unpleasant guy, that's for sure. Well, we got... Well, we at least dealt with the hired hand, so 
back to Ethan, Ethan, up to his second trial, going to a power plant. <sighs> two point, about two point three inches at least. So the water's steadily getting higher. God, I'm hungry. I remember this from the trailer. I thought this was going to be the, the level, the level that I have to get to because it'll be freaking awesome sauce. What the hell am I supposed to do here? It might be a trap. I had better be careful. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. This is the old Big O power station. I thought it was abandoned. Um, let's see if there's something over here. Well, it looks like the power, this old power plant is still active. I mean, I see the sparks and everything. Hey, look, I've actually found something. Let's snake our way right inside. Ah, ooh. That had to hurt. Well, at least we're inside, so. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active. Don't run into it by accident. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So, am I looking for a butterfly? Yeah, there's a butterfly right here. So, we made it. Ooh, this is dark. I'm gonna have to adjust the brightness setting in a little bit. Guess what we gotta go in here. Man, this one is long. Let's get this crap open. Oh yes, doesn't look suspicious at all. Nothing but pitch black. Let's strike a match. I'm guessing we have to go inside, so let's do it. Yeah, I really have to... Whoa, shit! The thing just closed behind them, so there's no turning back. I should never have got into this pipe. It's suicide! Let's adjust the brightness really quickly, since we're near the end of the episode anyway, so... That should be a bit better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now you guys can actually see what's going on. I think. Hopefully. Oh, shh. Broken glass. Lots of broken glass. Right. How the hell did somebody pull this, this off? Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm going to have to crawl through it slowly so I don't tear up my arms. Stupid fucking pipe! And Sean is gonna die because of me! Way to think negative, man. I've gotta get out of here. There's got to be a way out. Alright, just gotta crawl slowly through the glass. 